Hello, I'm back. The, for the, the live was disconnected for a little bit on Facebook, but I'm back. Thoughts update. So, talking about the scenario for a refi, talking about today's rate and inventory, talking about crypto, Litecoin. Let me, let's go with this, let's roll. Uh, okay, the scenario. I have this teacher, she got the house seven years ago and she ended up getting a car loan, $1,000 monthly payment, a personal loan, $500 monthly payment, a couple of credit cards, and on top of that, she had the mortgage payment, of course. The rate back in that time when she bought the house was four and a half. Now, today's rate, we're gonna drop the rate to 3.125. And Luis, Melanie, I love you, good to see you. Thank you for being here. So, regarding the refi, the scenario, we're gonna drop the rate from four and a half to 3.125. She was paying between the mortgage, the car loan, the personal loan, the credit cards. She was paying almost over $3,000 a month on debt. Now we are consolidating those debt and on the new mortgage payment, her payment will be only $100 more than the payment she was doing. She was paying around $1,500. Now she's gonna pay around $1,600. She's cashing out $80,000 and she's paying off all that debt. That means she's gonna be saving over $1,500 a month, $18,000 a year. And within the numbers, if she's just add that extra saving every month towards the principal of the loan, on the new loan, she's gonna pay off the house probably in 10 years. Is it not incredible? Well, this is something we can do. Let me know if you have any questions regarding refis. We are here to help you. Regarding uh, today's rate and inventory, check it out what I have here. Sometimes I take out one of my silver coins to remind me how important it is to keep the value of the assets in time. We're gonna be talking about that later. So talking about today's rate. Today's rate, like I was sharing with you on the refi, today's refi's rate is around three and a quarter. If you're gonna do a cash out, if you're gonna do a purchase, it will be around three, three, one, two, five, three and a quarter, depending on the FICO score. The rate today are still very, very low. One of the lowest in history, even though they already started to pick up. Yes, in the last two, three weeks, the rates has been racing and racing and racing. Remember, we're coming from two and a half rate, now we are in the low 3%, which is very good. So don't be scared about the rate. And regarding the inventory, even though the rate started to go up, and I personally thought the inventory was going to change dramatically, it didn't happen yet. In the last week here in the Antelope Valley, where I am right now, there were an average of 260 new listings in the market. And do you wanna know how many properties were pending during the same time of period? 260. So, the inventory is coming, but they are going pending fast. The inventory is not growing. So we are kind of the same place as we were before. We have right now only one third of inventory compared to last year, which is really bad for buyers, and it's very good for sellers. Very good, just seller's market. All right, guys, this is regarding the rates. This is regarding the inventory. The market's still the same, super hot. You wanna buy a house, buy an out. If you buy later, the property price is gonna be higher and the interest is gonna be higher too. So why wait for that you can do it now? Just make sure you do it wisely. Make sure you go aggressive. You need to go at least five, 10% over the asking price and you need to have everything together straight from your lender to have a, a, a strong offer whenever you're gonna be buying the house. Um, uh -huh. Now talking about the cryptocurrency. Remember, like I was saying before, why I am talking about crypto? Remember the first one I was talking about Bitcoin. Bitcoin equals gold, just to give you an idea kind of the, how relevant it is or why it was kind of created. The idea was to decentralize finance, money, and to be able to have something to protect you against inflation and devaluation. I don't know if you know, every time you save money in the bank, dollars, and you don't do anything with that, first, the bank is not gonna pay you any interest on that. The rates are very low. And second, every year that pass by, the purchase power that you have with that money goes down. That is devaluation. With cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin, or today we're talking about Litecoin, eh, 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 there is something interesting about it. Since those cryptocurrency has been created, in the, in, in the case of Litecoin has been two, three years, uh, five years, I believe, and Bitcoin has been 12 years. Every year, those currencies has been going up. The value is better. 
So everybody is exchanging, buying them because they believe they have a value and it's gonna protect them from devaluation on the dollar in this case. So the reason why I have here a silver coin with me right now is because the way Bitcoin kind of equal gold, if you wanna say that in the way, in the long term to protect your money, scarcity, utility, or, or have some value that everybody wants to have, Bitcoin is related to gold. Litecoin, the cryptocurrency I'm talking about today, is related to silver. So, uh, just to give you an idea quick, I'm not the most expert in the area. Anything you want to know technical or professional about cryptocurrency, go and read books and look at videos online. Do your own due diligence. Remember, I'm not a financial planner, I'm not a financial advisor. But going back to the point, uh, Bitcoin in history would be only 21 million Bitcoins. And Bitcoins takes around 10 minutes to process and update information on transactions, the blockchain. With silver coins, silver coin is kind of the same system. The difference is have 84 million light coins and they process the information faster, uh, uh, four times faster than Bitcoin. It's two and a half minutes. Maybe you don't care about that. I personally don't care about that. I care about the money. What's the science about money in this case? Simple. The way I, like, the, the way I look at it are charts. Litecoin, kind of silver, in cryptocurrency, a year ago in March, before the pandemic, one Litecoin, the value was $38. $38 one Litecoin. Today's value of one Litecoin is $200. Can you believe that? And the expectation and the forecast for the people that know about this is to go in value at least two, three times more in the next 12 months. Remember, the more dollars are printed the fiat creation, the money printing, the helicopter money goes on, means the dollars keep devaluating. If the dollar keeps devaluating, the other assets get value, like Litecoin, Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, or real estate, or any other business, maybe stock market, uh, they get value because the dollar lose push power. And I'm gonna leave it like that, just like that. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Carlos Lopez Morgan Show. If you have any questions regarding mortgage, real estate, California, Florida, even crypto, feel free to send me a text. I'm here to help you. Uh, remember, I love you. Remember, you're amazing. I'm finally back to normal. My hand is ready. I can do pretty much everything I want. Um, oh, last weekend, I was with the kids. We went to Big Bear, Arrow Bear. If you haven't been there, there is something called Sky Valley. Highly recommended. It's beautiful. Feels like you are like in Europe, I don't know, in Norway probably doing a ski. Uh, we did the slides and that was fun. And, and that was a fantastic trip. I highly recommend it. It's right there, only one hour, 40 minutes from here. And this weekend, just having my weekend off and I'm just gonna enjoy and relax and get ready with the book, Vivir American Abundance. Vivir American Abundancia ya está listo en pronto. Vamos a estar ya imprimiéndolo. All right, guys. That's it for now. I love you. Peace out. Take care. Remember, you're amazing. Bye-bye.